Houston, we have a problem. Okay, guys, we uh, we have a problem. So, AFE, they sent me the wrong part. Uh, as you guys can see here, that's the L. And L here should be 0501331. They sent me the 0501332. And what happened is, that part should have fit in there. But look, look it's way like bigger <laughs> hey guys welcome to the vlog again match here as always so i hope you watch my last live stream let me know if you like the the idea of a live stream uh, but it was just to update you guys about the code air intake and today we're gonna finally install the code air intake uh, as you guys remember I got wrong part for that unfortunately it took like halfway through to realize it I'll leave the link somewhere here or here for the video because I'm not going step by step I'm going to move forward until that point and then we finish the installation so if you didn't watch it I uh, recommend you to watch it uh, because it's gonna make it easier kind of move from there right and then uh, we'll see We'll see. I hope it's gonna work this time, all right? So I'm gonna pull the truck into the garage and we're gonna start the process. I hope you guys like the lights. I got a lot of complaints because people say that I talk too much, let's do it. I'm checking to see if it's warm because I just I got home like an hour and a half ago. So I have everything here. The part that was missing, if you guys have watched the last video, was this one in here. Yeah, that was the part that was missing. So I will disassemble everything and then we're gonna get again from where I stopped last time, all right? Before we start, let's do before and after, right? This is before. Before. Nothing special, 2017 stock Chevy Colorado. Okay, boys. Here is basically where we stopped last time. I put the shield on, I took the cover out. Right now, what I'm doing, when you get this, this kit, comes with this clip here. The, what you have to do, uh, so basically you have to attach, use that clip to attach the hose to the shield and use a 10 millimeter. Screw in. All right. All right. Now, now we're gonna work on, on the piece that was missing. What? Which was? So the piece that was missing was this that goes to the throttle body. Uh, I think we don't need to tight right now. As you guys see, that was the piece that was missing. Uh, so it's loose right now. I'm gonna assemble everything and make sure everything is right before I start, you know, tidying up all the screws and uh, anything that needs to be really tight. All right. Now we're gonna do basically the same thing with the shield. We're gonna use this part right here, uh, and that should go like this. We should get another clip right here. 
We need to... Oh, remember, we need to put the sensor here, um, which I almost forgot, so I'm gonna do right now. Sorry, it's so hard to do with one hand. So once, it, yeah, it should come out easily. Just take your time. It's just because I'm doing it with one hand, so. Okay, here's the sensor. And the sensor goes right here. That's how it should be. And that should go in there. Like this like this so we make some progress but let's not get excited yet now we need this piece right here that goes right there actually right now we need this piece right here right here and that oh we need clamps make sure you got your clamps okay once you use make sure you put that before it's just make it easier. I mean, at least for me. I'm putting you guys closer. All right. So and now this piece should go there. It comes with this small piece, uh, small hose, and that should goes here on um, this large piece. Uh, I hope you guys can see it. Uh, where the sensor goes here, and the hose that you just disconnect from the the original uh, cover goes here and that one this one this whole piece goes here which i'm just gonna put in there um yep so yeah that ho that hose goes here and we need to remove one more thing that i didn't realize we have to but let's i'll show you these hose here which it's very simple if you Click that clip, I don't know. Sorry guys, it's super dark, let me try to make. There you go. You see this uh, gray thing here, which is almost white? You push, if you, that's the, the normal uh, way they come, that it nor, should be. You're just pushing here, and you just remove it, all right? And you do the same for the other side. It's gonna be replaced by that one. All right, so I'm gonna I'm going ahead. I'm gonna install that one, and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Okay, uh, it's uh, the other one is very similar. You just if you wanna remove it, you just push it. But if you wanna put it put in there, just squeeze. There we go. It's not going anywhere, and that part goes here, as you guys can see. All right, all right. I'll try to attach everything. I think we cover everything we need and hope it to be I hope to be done soon. Okay boys. I'm just running all over here. So by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, I just post a picture there. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, right? Make sure you follow me on Instagram so you know what's going on. I, anyway, so uh, it's uh, pretty much everything is solid so just I don't miss one thing here it's the sensor Woo. so you guys saw that uh, so a few things that I want to tell you if you want to install this kit the instructions are I would say 80 70 60 percent right uh, yeah they are very off but uh, two things to keep in mind uh, the hose that you guys just saw uh i'm installing the plugs in here that's very important that doesn't say anything in the instructions and the other one is this one right here i'll try to show you guys it's where this thing here was connected so i'll show here on the pictures you see where that thing goes so once you remove it remove the cover and then you attach that hose in there see that with, with that hose that i just showed you the guys that comes with the kit which is that piece here uh so we are almost done 
really almost done. So I'm just gonna put the filter in and should be it. All right, the filter, filter is on. Uh, one tip, just make sure the screws are facing you. So that makes everything easier. Make sure that everything's tight. Let's put it back the oil cap. There we go. All right, this is the first start with a cold air intake for AFE. And uh, I hope that works. I hope I don't get any uh, engine lights and anything. So let's see how that sounds. Well, no engine lights. I don't know if you guys can hear, uh, but let's let's go for a drive. So that's the best way to find out if there's something changed or not. Let's go for a drive. It's been a long time I don't do vlogs driving though. <laughs> uh, so far I don't have any engine lights, anything, so. But, and I don't notice like a huge difference in the like different noise or kind of thing But let's see I gotta, I gotta be careful here though because like a lot of kids here in my neighborhood Ooh, I like that Oh my god, it's loud I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> it's not loud, loud, but it's loud. It's definitely louder than stock. Yeah, when you like halfway troll, it's like you 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 see that thing kicking in. But again. Definitely, it's louder. All right, all right. Not bad at all, not bad at all. It's not extremely loud, but it's loud. I don't know if the camera is gonna adjust. I'm saying it's louder. Which is, it's it's just when you like, really go on the gas, then it's when uh goes off, you know what I'm saying? like. Actually, I'm happy because we didn't get anything. Um, yeah, it's uh, I can hear now. It's 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 like it's even hard to explain. But I hope the camera adjusts that. Uh, it's just like way better. I like it. Uh, when I throw a exhaust on it, it's gonna be even better. Yep. It's definitely better. Just make sure that everything's fine, is working fine. Um, okay. So everything seems fine. Here's the deal. I'm gonna drive with this thing for a couple of months, I'd say. I don't know, let's see how much I get tired of it. Uh, but and then we're gonna do a review because a lot of people said to me oh you should not do this but to be honest my first drive and uh, I really like it uh, I don't know we'll see just one more look at it so I hope you guys like it I'll leave you all the link in the description below where I got and uh, which which one I got because you have many options uh, I'm not saying it's the best one it's just like I got on sale total for that was 269 but they were running like a 35% discount you need that those discounts dude <laughs> yeah so we're, we're gonna do a review later on and we'll see where we are all right again thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy it probably guys heard me saying a lot of things about the wheels and tires and the lift kit 
and I will explain to you guys why we are still not there yet. Then this is gonna take us to another different conversation that I wanna know if you guys are interested or not here in the channel. That I think that's gonna be helpful not just for me but for everyone there. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you enjoy it, give it that thumbs up. Don't forget, like, give him that thumbs up. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Leave your comment below. If you have any questions about the code air intake, I will be glad to help you guys. And as always, don't forget, enjoy your life.